I came across a video on YouTube. I have not watched it yet. I thought we would discover it together. I am hoping that it is worthy of everyone's time, or at least my time. Because in the description of this video, it states, all in lowercase letters, <clears throat> no punctuation, a basic biology question that I wonder if an atheist scientist can answer. Atheist scientist. What, does this guy think that only atheists are intelligent and educated and informed and smart? Does he really believe that there are no theist scientists out there who are those things? I can see his point. Anyhow, like I said, we will discover this together, starting now. This is um, a question about evolution. Another question about the existence of God. Okay, I give up. Why the bloody anal fuck would you want to ask an atheist scientist about the existence of one of your gods? And why ask that after a question regarding evolution? Makes no sense. Cheers. All right. Now, um, good question is, what I was thinking about. You were thinking, I see no evidence so far of that claim. Now, a scientists say that a person has all new cells in their body every seven years. No, there are no scientists out there who have ever said that. There are no scientists out there who have stated that every cell in a human body is replaced by new cells every seven years. You will find a great many scientists who say every cell in a uh, organism is replaced at different times. Some cells are replaced within four months. Some cells are replaced within a year. Some cells are replaced in 10 years. Some cells are replaced in 15 years. A few cells are replaced in seven years. Not all cells, all at once, every seven years. I can't even imagine how such a thing would work. Like, all of a sudden, you're at every seventh birthday, sequential seventh birthday, you just like kind of disintegrate and then just reintegrate again back to what you were. Is that what you believe scientists are actually claiming? So it's like, you know, every cell in your body, every seven years, so what you have now is not the same cells that you had seven years ago. That is incorrect, and no scientist says that is correct. Like I said already, some of the cells in my body are seven years old. Some of the cells in my body are a few hours old. And the gods only know. And I feel every damn one of them. Some of the cells in my body are 53 years old. Or even if you're like, um, hmm, all the cells you had now are not the same cells you had 30 years ago. Okay, a good question is, that's true, because in the past 30 years, I have gained about 25 pounds. Okay, 50. But who's keeping track? Now, um, a person that is like 50 years old, they can accurately, accurately remember something when they was like um, 15 years old. When they was like 15? They was? Was they? Let me guess. Language is not your first language. Now keep in mind that the cells they have when they're 50 are, told, are different cells than they had when they was 15. Yes, when they was 15. Continue please. Now, a good question is, 
How do those memories from where you're 15 get keep getting passed down to the cells when you was like um, 50? When you was um, 50. <sighs> you know what happens when a new cell replaces an old cell? It copies the old cell! You know why I have scar tissue on my hands from defensively fighting off a bastard with a knife when I was something like 13, here I am 53. The scars are still there, you know why? The new cells copy the old ones. Scar tissue, copied. Eye color, copied. How is this so fucking difficult to understand? And why do you need an atheist scientist to tell you these things? Why don't you go get some remedial high school education, pay attention in biology class, ask questions, put down the Bible, pick up the biology textbook, and learn something! So how do your memories go from cell to cell and remain accurate and you have new cells every seven years? Because the new ones copy the old ones. How do your gods do it? Well, now you got into it. You scratch your ear. You just lost maybe 25,000 cells and four lice. Just scratching your ears, buddy. No more seven years for you, pal. I wonder if these uh, if people out there can explain that question. Yes, they're called cell biologists. Where do your gods fit in on all this? Hmm. Because it stands to reason, like, if you get new cells every seven years, then your brain cells, they would be wiped clean of everything, and they're just biological functions. Well, that certainly explains you, pal, but what about the rest of us? You made it so easy. So how do you retain your memories, your lifelong memories, when you don't have the same cells every seven years. So can somebody explain that? There, I did. Now, maybe you would be kind enough to explain why you mentioned your gods. <laughs>